Hello and welcome back to another video with Drago and today I'm going to show you how to put Ubuntu onto your USB drive and boot from it. So first of all you only need one program which is called Transmac and even though it's meant to be a Mac simulator thingy for Windows it does do this job as well as anything else I could find because the thing that is advertised as putting onto the pen drive or USB didn't work for me so I used Transmac which was meant for the Mac operating system on Windows but it now works on the USB so I've got a lot of stuff open at the moment so, who cares? Those. Um, if you're wondering, this is just uh, what I'm going to try and buy for my computer later on. Then, first of all, you need to make sure you have a USB plugged in, which I'm going to do right now. I don't know about the specifics of USB but I'm pretty sure it has to be either 8 gig or 4 gig nothing below the 1 gig or 2 gig range okay and after that it uh, should come up where is it yeah I tried to copy across I across didn't work so right now we're going to Go into Transmac, run it, even though it has the 13 days left. And if you run out, you just have to re-download it. Run it, then go to generic flash disk or whatever you want it to go to. You have to rerun it as admin because I forgot to do so. And Click on it, go format disk with disk image, and then go navigate to where you download your Ubuntu, or Ubuntu, I, I can't pronounce it even if you said to me to pronounce it properly, it, image and open it, it will format everything and write the image to the to the USB. Make sure you click on the right one, otherwise it will format everything on on your USB and no one would like that at all. So I'll pause the video right now and come back once it's done. Pause there. Alright, it is now done and it should show up in your computer as nothing because your computer in windows does not understand linux whatever they use for linux and it should be there as like something random and you can't open it because you need to format it so do not format it and it says that just ignore that and then hop across into your bios change it to boot from your USB if you don't know how to do that um, I am very sorry but you shouldn't really be doing stuff like, like that like, but yeah and you can install it but make sure you have a petition for it so make sure you sorry for that make sure you have a petition for it otherwise you'll just be overwriting it but there is an option in there which allows uh, yeah allows for you to run it alongside so it automatically sh tells you how to make different partitions so you get to choose how much your Linux the Ubuntu operating system can have over your Windows system so that should be an easy install process and it's all good and it should boot from the USB. If it doesn't, I'm sorry. 
If it does, I congratulate you and you now have your barn too. So, thank you all for watching and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.